Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual. Today is my third Clan War recap video. I've had a, a lot more than that in the time I've been making this YouTube channel, but I've skipped a few. I was planning to do the last one, but unfortunately there was a uh, sort of update and Supercell wiped clean most of the replays, so I went ahead and waited till this one. And this was an exciting war, so I think it's my best one yet, and I think you guys should have a lot of fun watching this. So we got paired up against Power Latino 2. They're about the same as us, and they've won quite a few wars 19, so we knew it was going to be a good match right when we got paired up. And before we could even blink, preparation day was already over, and we were starting battle day. Um, I was pretty excited to attack. I was attacking the top guy as usual. And uh, it started about 1 o'clock Pacific time, so 1 in the afternoon for me. And I'm attacking the top guy, Caesar 8A. I'm using a giant to draw out his clan castle. He's a pretty solid town all 10, but his infernos are only level 1. He only has level 1 expos. So, I mean, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for me to take care of him and get two stars on him. So I couldn't draw out the whole clan castle because that giant died too early, and none of my barbarians would get close enough to trigger the rest of the troops. So I'm guessing there's a couple wizards left over, and that one wizard that got drawn out didn't even die either. So I'm not going to have a few clan castle troops to deal with. But anyway, I'm going to just go on with the raid, drop my wizards, witches, and golems, follow up with some wall breakers, I was afraid there was going to be some big giant bombs, and I was right. The first two didn't really do a whole lot of damage, just took care of a couple skeletons. But that third one did take out some of my wizards, which hurt me a little bit. But regardless, I cleared a path for my clan castle, my king, and my queen. Dropped that jump spell, and I'm going to try to get my troops into the middle and get that first star on the town hall. So as you can see, it looks like my king should go to the middle right after he takes care of that elixir storage. But for some reason, he goes to the outside. Don't know why. He could just walk right into the middle. It's just up to my queen at this point. I have like two golemites that are just dying. So it's going to be up to her. She's going to shoot down that inferno first. And now she's just going to take aim. And let's see if she can take down that town hall. So my king's going to the outside. I'm going to activate my queen's ability. Her royal cloak. And as you can see, she's so close when she finally goes down. I'd say one, maybe two shots away. So it's up to my king at this point to get 50%. I have some troops left over, but the town hall is still pretty heavily guarded. So I think it, it's in my best interest just to go for one star 50%. So the king's dying down, so are some of the wizards that followed him. And we won't quite get that army camp. Yeah, that still at 42. I'm going to drop another barbarian. Take care of that army camp. Now I, still, I have those archers, minions, and I think... Maybe a couple barbarians left that uh, I don't use in my main attack. I bring these for this purpose. If I'm at like 45% or 44% or whatever, I use them to try to get that extra 10% and get that star. So I'm at the 44, and these two buildings will go down. That'll get me 45, and it's going to either take three or four more buildings to go down at this point. Hopefully three. But if this is only a 46, it might take four. So, drop some minions. Yeah, it's only 46. So we're going to have to take down three additional buildings. Uh, the minions will take care of that gold storage up top. This can drop the rest of my archers and hope. And one thing I forgot is I had a bunch of wall breakers. I should have sent those in earlier to distract the defenses while my archers took care of that last gold storage. But it was too late. They took care of that last archer, and I ran out of time. The minions couldn't do anything else. I got 49%. So especially when you're that close to taking the town hall down two, that's even worse because you were so close to two stars, let alone one, and that king. I mean, when children start cheering for him, that, that was good, but then they started booing when he went to the outside. So you know it's bad when the children are booing your king. You know it's not going to end well. And then my queen, she was actually very close. Maybe one more level. If she was level eight, that would have been different. <laughs> And yeah, she goes down. Then at the end, trying for that 50%. Time runs out. So anyway, if my king gone to the middle, my queen had been a little bit better. If I just had more time, I might have gotten that extra star. Or even two stars had I got that town hall too. Anyway though, we started off, both uh, clans did really good off the bat. Uh, pretty even right, as you can see, uh, after the first hour or so. 
and we all had a lot of 100%, so right now it was all attacks, and nothing really separated us. It was pretty even. Uh, it, I'm going to show one of their attacks. This is this is Jordan defending. He's a co-leader. He actually has one of our strongest Town Hall 6 bases, completely maxed. Um, and I love his design, too. It's a very effective Town Hall 6 design, but I'm going to show really how powerful they were. Uh, this guy only has, like, level 3 wizards and, I think, level 3 or 4 giants, but he did a great job um, dropping them and getting them to go to the center right away with those wall breakers. Uh, you can tell they're very experienced. They're using the right troops, dropping them in the right places. So after watching a, this attack and others like this, I knew it was going to be very difficult to defend against them and uh, get enough stars to match them and try to win this war. So, he used a lot of giants, and he had some wizards coming in the background, too. So, you can see his giants are just going to go around and take care of most of these defenses. And I was thinking it might actually only be two stars, because that was kind of a stupid rage spell. The giants won't be there for long after that cannon goes down. And if his three defenses might have worked a little bit better, um, or there wasn't as many giants, it might have been a different story. But the problem was these giants just don't die, so they were st sticking around for a long time and allowing those wizards and archers to finish up and start to go towards those defenses. So as you can see, uh, the wizards and archers are kind of making their way. And there was a bomb, but that's not going to do a whole lot, just take out a little bit of their health. So those two, two or three giants are still distracting the defenses, and they'll hold them off long enough for the wizards and archers to come around and help finish off the rest of those buildings. So down will go the archer tower and then the cannon soon after. And that will add up to 100% 3 star. So as you can see, very strong base uh, Jordan has as only a Town Hall 6. But they were very experienced and they knew what they were doing, knew what they wanted in the clan castle. And they got the job done. Uh, with all of their attacks look like this, uh, which is why it was even more important that we just attack the right people, and just use the best troops we could, get the most stars. But uh, our clan, uh, we're pretty versatile. So, I mean, even a low level like uh, Krieg, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, a member in my clan, uh, this attack is on a much higher up guy who's, you know, an under-upgraded Town Hall 9, but that's tough, especially for um, people uh, of low levels that don't even have level 5 archers like Krieg. So, as you can see, this is a very smart attack strategy. He's just going to go for the one star. Uh, that's all I can really get at this point. So, he's going to use a bunch of archers because all the building, buildings are kind of spammed around on the outside. So, I'll just go through at times two speed. And uh, he did a great job taking care of the clan castle when it came out. And then just getting the necessary amount of damage to get that 50% and get a star. Because a lot of times... Uh, there's not any bases left to attack at the bottom. They're all two or three starred. So you have to improvise and go higher up. That's a message my clan should take away from this battle or this war. That sometimes you got to go higher up and use unique strategies like almost all archers like Krieg did to try to get the, an extra star for the clan because that really helps, uh, especially in the later stages of the war. So he dropped a dragon from the clan castle, but unfortunately none of his lightning spells took out the air defense, so his dragon lost most of, most of its health, and he just ended the battle right there. So, um, he got a pretty good solid, pretty good one star, uh, which we needed at that time. So, now I'm going to be showing, uh, it's not the most heroic defense, because, uh, it wasn't defended, you'll see that why in a second, but this was probably my favorite defense, uh, I've seen so far in my clan, as far as clan wars go. Because it, it was just, uh, watching it live was so exciting, and uh, everyone was like saying, oh, it's a three-star, but you'll see um, some pretty miraculous defending coming up. So he has spammed a bunch of hog riders, and, and me and my clan were watching this live, so we thought, oh, three-star. Just looking at all those hogs, um, Shmeister doesn't have a very anti-hog uh, base, I mean, he's only a Town Hall 8, so Town Hall 8s are very susceptible to Hog Rider attacks like this one. And this guy, you know, he had level 5 wizards, and I don't know what his ho what level his hogs were, but they're definitely getting the job done, whatever level they are. 
and that giant bomb actually put them all almost uh, almost out of health, but he was able to heal them. So he kept, this guy kept a bunch of his hogs alive throughout the battle, but um, it wasn't quite over yet because he got 50%. That was pretty easy just by taking out the defenses. Uh, but the hogs are going to have to run all the way to the top because they skipped an archer tower, and that's going to be kind of where their deathbed is, so to speak. Uh, this guy, he had a dragon in his clan castle, which is making its way to the town hall. And at this point, it looks like it's going to be an easy three-star. The problem is there's a giant bomb and a bunch of st spring traps. So that'll finish off most of the hogs, except for, I think, two at the top. And his king looks like it's making its way to the middle, too. Uh, or it will be after it takes out that elixir pump. But the defensive king is still there, and even though he can't mess with the dragon... He's still going to be able to take care of those hogs and hopefully the king. So it's it's not over yet. But at this point, everyone was like, oh, it's a two-star. Because that dragon had made its way inside the middle of the base. And there was really nothing that could defend against it. But as you can see, the kings are going to battle against each other. In level four versus level three, I think level four is going to win, which is the defensive one. And then a, a seeking air mine did the job on that dragon, prevented it from just sitting there and taking down the town hall. And a couple hogs ran to the middle, but the king still had a little bit of fight left in him. He's actually going to persevere through and take out those two hogs. So that's pretty much this guy's whole attack. And even though he went ar around and just destroyed the whole base, that town hall is left still standing. So um, total props to Schmeister, uh, especially for putting those uh, air air seeking air mines and air bombs in the middle of his base by the town hall almost anticipating something like this. So it was a one star, but at the time everyone was just going crazy because that was actually a pretty big defense only to allow one star on one of those high guys attacking Town Hall 8. So a very good defense by Schmeister. And after being very upset by my first attack, I I was going to go for the number two guy, which was uh, near max Town Hall 9. But I kind of thought, you know what, i got to do the best for the clan. And I thought, no one's going for the number two or three guy except for me, so I might as well just go and attack the number three guy, because I knew I could do a lot better on him than I could on the number two guy. So, I, I used hogs again, so I'm going to draw out the clan castle with some barbarians and bring them to, to the left side of the screen with some archers, and then from there I can just take care of them uh, with a wizard and a couple barbarians. And... Once they're down, I can kind of just drop my hogs and let them do their thing with some heal spells. So, any uh, Town Hall 9 that's not, like, anti-hog and not, like, extremely maxed out, uh, they're pretty easy just to use hogs and just get the three stars. Like, even if it was a little bit more maxed out than this, the design allows for hogs just to run right through like they do. And uh, I love using this strategy because... Go Wee Wee's usually good for one star, or sorry, two stars. And Go Wipe can get three stars, but I'm still upgrading my P.E.K.K.A.s. They're actually going to finish to level two today, and I'll put them level three. And maybe in the future I'll use Go Wipe to try to get these three stars. But for now, Hogs are good for these lower Town Hall 9s. So I went through, got three stars. This was the same night, so everything kind of happened, bang, bang, bang. And I went to bed after that. It was pretty close throughout when I went to bed, and I woke up, and it was actually still close. Even though we've used 11 more attacks, I don't think they were, they were going to use all their attacks. So it was about participation and gain those extra stars, but unfortunately, we had too many people just fail on attacking, and it ended up uh, 60 to 55. There were some people I was kind of mad at that didn't attack, especially some higher levels, but uh, here are the war stats. But it happens, and... Uh, Next, I took care of the people who didn't attack, uh, so I kicked them out, most of them. And uh, I think this next war, I'll do a recap video as well. And hopefully I can bring you guys my first win. We've, we've won every war I haven't recorded and put on YouTube, so maybe we can finally win one that I actually am going to put on YouTube. That'd be kind of nice. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. And I'll see you guys in my later videos, but until then, bisect the Tron out.